What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from High on Android and DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm here with my first What's on my Android series. A lot of people have been asking me on Twitter in the comments section of several of my videos to do one of these What's on my Android videos and I figured why not, let's go ahead and get it started. Now I couldn't decide which of my phones to use. As you guys probably know I have a ton of phones. I actually use all my phones for the most part. I rotate them in and out of my rotation but I figured right now I'd go with the phone that's my main phone, my favorite phone. That's my white Galaxy Note 5. This is the Verizon variant. This is where I have all my work information stored on this number, all my contacts that are important, I give this number to them. So my main phone always has that number on it, and right now it's on Verizon, uh, so I have the Verizon phone, and also because Verizon has the best service, in my opinion, in Phoenix. Not by a lot, T-Mobile's catching up, but it does have the best service overall. So this is my main phone. I'm going to show you guys what's on here today. And then maybe if you guys are interested, I'll walk through some of my other phones because I have custom ROMs. I have some other phones that are rooted, you know, my 6P. I've got custom ROM on my HTC One M9. We can look at some other phones if you're interested. So first of all, a lot of people noticed in the last video, I'm running Action Launcher 3. This is the launcher from Chris Lacey. It's a great app. If you haven't used Action Launcher 3, if you're using Nova or Apex, I have those on here as well. I kind of am a launcher junkie. If I don't have my phone rooted, then I want to customize as much as possible. So I go ahead and throw a custom launcher on here. And Action Launcher is one that I've really experimented with. I'll show you a couple of my favorite features. One of those is smart size icons. So it resizes the icons to match the material designs. Recommended icon size. You can see that's a beta feature right now. The other thing I really like about Action Launcher 3 is the ability to use this swipe up widget gesture to get to the drawer and you can see here he calls those covers so you can make your icons in a folder or a cover so I switched it back to a folder there so if you want to change it to a cover you go into the folder choose make cover so you can see there that Google Plus became the front of my cover and that's the app I see I don't see any the other ones you do see right there at the bottom you've got a little icon at the bottom right corner that lets you know it's a cover. I also have a cover for my high on Android folder. It's got Slack, Studio, YouTube, and Stat Counter. This we use to keep track of stats for the high on Android news site. Slack I use to talk to my good friend Zito Max, uh, Max Lee, Shane Starnes, Droid Modder X, the other guys that write over at high on Android. Studio, of course, to keep track of my YouTube comments and views, etc. And YouTube to watch some videos myself. You guys can see the apps that I have inside my social folder as well there. Pretty standard Google+, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, Periscope. The other two apps there that might be a little different, you've got Tapatalk, which is a forums app. I have the premium version of that because I post on a lot of forums, math forums, uh, tech forums, etc. And then Falcon Pro, which is my favorite Twitter client right now on Android. I've been using Phoenix for a long time, but I find Falcon Pro a little more stable and overall it's a lot faster in my opinion. So you can see right here, Falcon Pro has got a nice... A nice interface overall. So this is definitely an app that I recommend if you are into using Twitter. Falcon Pro is one you should definitely try to pick up. I think it's a decent price. It's like five bucks I believe to get the premium version but in my opinion it's worth it and it's the fastest and most full-featured Twitter client on Android. Of course there are a lot of ones to try out. And then of course the other great thing I love about Action Launcher 3 is you can install these widgets you guys sort of saw there. You can make the app swipe up and you get a swipe up instant widget. Now this is something that I showed you guys that was built into the BlackBerry Priv, but you've been able to do this in Android for a long time, but the, the ease of which you can do it with Action Launcher 3 and switch between folders, widgets, and covers just makes it really, really nice. And you can see the other thing I have there on the home screen is camera. On the bottom I have pretty standard Chrome, Hangouts, Gmail, and then the phone icon. Now you can see the other thing here that Action Launcher 3 does is it matches your actual theme of your phone to the color of your wallpaper. So you see here I've got the Google icon wallpaper from the Immaterialist uh, theme icon pack that I showed you guys. That's in my icon pack video. That is the icon pack I'm running. So if we go into Action Launcher again, I can show you really quick display. You can see right there, I'm running the Immaterialist icon pack. And it does have these beautiful Google wallpapers. So if you didn't see them last time, Let's just go in here before I start going through all my apps and I'll show you guys the Immaterialis wallpapers. So that's the Googles too. You can see you got a bunch of different colors. So here's one that's got a purple theme. You got white, you've got this color I have here. You got brown, 
black, gray, neon, blue, etc. So if you really like, uh, you know, your Android phone having sort of a Google feel to it, it's definitely a wallpaper to check out in that icon pack. I'll link my icon pack video below again. So those are some of my favorite features of Action Launcher. You can see that the actual app drawer is also themed with the same color. So it's matching the color of your wallpaper, sort of theming your whole phone with that. You can see here at the top, it has your recently used apps, Mail, Instagram, Falcon Pro, and Hangouts. So you guys can see my most used apps right there. And then we'll go through just a few of the apps in the app drawer. Well, I'll try to go through all of them. I don't want this video to be too long. Infinity is a really simple game, which basically starts, you can see here, you're trying to create yourself an infinity symbol by just putting together these little, these little pieces and you can only tap to move once and sort of rotates the piece around. This is a really great game for killing time. So if you really like to kill time while you're sort of waiting, I really like simple games that make it easy for me to waste time when I'm at a doctor's appointment or something. I don't have time for games that require a lot of in-app purchases, mainly because they want you to do something every day. Uh, let's see what else we got. We've got Action 3 settings there. That's Action Launcher. Adobe Acrobat Reader. Aftership, this is my favorite app for keeping track of packages. You can see there, my Yeezy 350 Boost Tan was delivered. Uh, and got some, I cleared some things from my archive. This right here is free, uh, and it's a great app for keeping track of your packages. The one thing I love the most about it is when you copy a tracking number from an email and you open up this app, it'll automatically import uh, the information in here and it'll recognize which shipping carrier you're using. So that's a great feature. You see I've got Alexa there. That's for my Amazon Echo. I've got the Amazon app, of course, for shopping, Amazon Kindle for any Kindle books that I have, Android Auto. You guys know I have that unit in my car, the Pioneer head unit. At some point, I need to show you guys a tour of that, so I'll definitely get a video up on that. I've been lagging on that ever since I got it. I've got the Android Central app there. I do like to read Android Central's articles, keep up track with any other news that goes down while I'm teaching. Uh, Android Pay, which I don't actually use on this phone because I use Samsung Pay. I've got Android Wear, Tutu Benchmarks, pretty standard. I mentioned I do have Apex Launcher on here. I like to switch up launchers, but Action Launcher 3 has been my favorite. I've had no reason to switch since I started using it about a month or two ago. Um, I have Backgrounds HD. This is a great wallpaper app, so if you're looking for something to download wallpapers, especially ones that are sort of themed for the holiday season, various uh, themes throughout the year that might come up, sort of recommend some nice wallpapers, and they're all really high quality. It's a great app. It does have some ads, but it's free, so you can download that. I've got the Beats Pill Plus app, so that, of course, is for my Beats Pill Plus Bluetooth speaker. I've got the Balloon Tower Defense 5. This is another one of my favorite games. If you don't know about Balloon Tower Defense, I'll try to do a video on that game. I've been waiting for a while. I was going to do that, you know, before the holidays, but I really love that game. It's a really fun game. Uh, I've got pretty standard stuff there, calendar, camera, Chrome. I've got Chromecast there, Motorola Connect, because I have my Moto 360 paired up to this phone. This is my Huawei watch, yes. I'm not wearing the 360 today. This is paired to my 6P, which is sitting over on my computer desk. Uh, what else we have there? We got Google Drive and Dropbox for all my cloud storage needs. I've got eBay there for shopping. Eloon is an icon pack. This is one of the ones that I recommended last time. This one's not installed right now, but if you go check out my icon pack series, that's gonna be one that's coming up in the icon pack series. Microsoft Excel for editing my grade books, my classes on the go. Facebook, pretty standard. Facets is another great wallpaper app. A lot of people ask where I get, a lot of people know about this app, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people ask where I get these uh, wallpapers from Justin Mahler. You've got the various superheroes and villains series here, like Iron Man, Vader, etc. You can grab the Facets app. And then there is a premium price, I think, to get the extra. I think the Justin Mahler ones are in the premium price, but it's not that expensive and you can get all those cool wallpapers. I mentioned Falcon Pro. Uh, Feel the Wear is another app I want to mention. So this is one that I'm not using on here because I use my Moto 360. But this app, I've been thinking about using it with my 360. I just haven't had a reason. The Huawei Watch has a really poor vibration motor. I mentioned that in my review. Feel the Wear will let you set up custom vibration patterns so that you can actually feel your watch vibrate. And you can also set it up for particular types of notifications. So if you use your Android Wear watch, especially if you have a Huawei watch, and you have a problem with the vibration, I definitely recommend this app. It'll make your Huawei watch experience a lot better. You can do a lot of other cool things with it, but I use it mainly for custom vibration patterns on my Huawei watch. I got Fidelity for my investments, my banking. I do my checking account there as well. 
Firehouse Subs, that's a restaurant here in Phoenix where I order lunch often. I can put my order in on the phone, pick it up. Flickster for movies. Fresh is another icon pack, again, in my icon pack video. Futuristic, that's a watch face for your Android Wear device. You can check it out right there. A lot of people have asked about this one. I'll put a link to that one as well in the description. It's one of my favorite watch faces to use on Android Wear. Gallery, of course, Geekbench. Glim is another icon pack that'll be coming to the icon pack series, so watch out for that. I've got Gmail, Google, Google Keyboard. We've got Google OnHub, because I do have an OnHub router. A couple more standard apps there. I've got Great Clips, that's where I get my haircut. Hangouts, IMDB, of course, from movies. The Immaterialis icon pack there, which I mentioned. Instagram, Google Keep. You guys know that I keep all of my reviews in here. I also keep a list of you know things I'm gonna pick up. I was gonna do this sneaker video. I'm still gonna do it. My top 10 sneaker pickups of 2015 for you sneakerheads out there. You guys can get a look at what I have on my list. Those are my top 10 favorite pickups that I made in 2015. Let me know what you think about it. You guys can see I keep most of my videos organized sort of outlines in Google Keep. Uh, I got Kicks on Fire, which is for sneaker news. So if you're a sneakerhead, you should check that out. Link Bubble, that's another great app. Oops, that's another great app by Chris Lacey. So if you are interested in using Twitter and Instagram and all these things where you need to simplify your linking process, it's not such a huge problem now because of some of the improvements made with Twitter, but Linkbubble is still a great browser that lays, allows you to do a lot of great things with moving around links within your browser and your connected apps like Instagram, social media, you know, whatever social media apps you use. I got Maps, Mathway, which I did a video on, so if you need help with your math homework, go check it out. Messages, Messenger, Mobile Hotspot, Motor Hero, that's another one of my favorite games to waste time, so if you like to waste time like me, go check that game out. It's basically just a biking game where you're trying to rack up a number of 360 degree flips. MyCloud, which is for my WD MyCloud hard drive so I can access my files anytime I need to. Netflix, of course, pretty standard. Nova Launcher, so most people have know about Nova Launcher. That's another one of my favorite third party launchers. One More Dash and One More Line. I've shown these games before. Really, really love those games from SMG Studios. Definitely check out their games. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, but I really do like their games. PayPal and Periscope. Uh, PhotoMath, which is the next math app that I'm going to do a video on. So if you're interested in the math series, come back for that. Pixelore. This is an app where you can actually pick any color on your smartphone. So you can see here, if I start the app, I can then sort of choose anywhere on my phone, and it will actually find the correct color in the spectrum for me, and then pull, you can see right there, it actually gives me the correct color number there so I can actually reproduce that color. Now this is great if you're interested in doing things in Photoshop and you actually need this color number to input to reproduce that exact color. It's great. I can move it around anywhere and I can reproduce any color on my icons, on a web page, wherever I want. So this is actually pretty, really, really awesome, really useful. And I've used Pixlore quite a few times. You can go up to the top to actually turn it on. You can hide the app as well. And then you can also share the color with a friend or share it with someone else, email it to yourself. So I actually find that app really useful if I wanna match a color, something in a video, if I wanna match something that I'm doing in Photoshop for a class or something that I'm putting in a PowerPoint. It's been really, really useful. You would think it's just a simple app, it tells you what the exact color number is in the spectrum and then you can import that into your favorite editing app. Um, play games, play movies, play music, play store, all pretty standard. Pocket Cast, which is my favorite casting app for uh, podcast. Uh, you can save your podcast locally, listen to them streaming. It's a really, really great app. It is a premium uh, app. I think it's like five bucks. The HTC Re, the camera app, you can see there, that's from HTC Re camera. I've got Google Opinion Rewards. If you don't have Google Opinion Rewards, why not? You should go get it because it's really useful and you can make money for Play Store credit. Uh, S Note here, which I use all the time, of course, on my Note 5. It's one of the main reasons the Note 5 is one of my favorite phones. Samsung Level, which is for my Samsung uh, Level Bluetooth headphones. Control a lot of things inside there. Samsung Pay, which to be honest with you, I've been singing the praises of Samsung Pay on Twitter and I can't say enough positive things about it. I've left my wallet at home now three different times since I've had Samsung Pay and every time it's bailed me out by letting me use my phone somewhere where they have magnetic stripe reading technology. Um, the Skype there, so obviously I use Skype a lot for my phone for work. Slack, I told you guys about that for communicating with the high on Android guys. Snapchat, which I hardly use at all because it's not really my thing. 
but I'm trying to get into it. I got Snapseed for editing photos. That's Google's photo editor. Snups, which is for social media for collections. I've been trying to get my sneaker collection up there. I just haven't had time. Speed Test, pretty standard app. Spotify, I have a Spotify account as well as Play Music. So if a song is not on one of them, I can switch to the other. Stat Counter again for keeping track of website stats. StubHub here, which is pretty standard just for tickets. Studio, we've got Swap a Price. So that's an app that every Android fan, boy, fan, girl should have on their phone. You can check the price or the value of your current phone on Swappa. That way, if you're thinking about selling or buying, you can go in, let me go in there and show it. Swappa price goes in there. It'll let you find out, you know, if you want to check out the Samsung Note 5, you can see the graph there and see what the value is on the Samsung Note 5 from Verizon. If you're thinking about selling, you're thinking about buying. That's a great app I use all the time because I buy and sell a lot of phones. Then I got Temple Run 2 on there, which is another one of my favorite games. But again, I since I can't play every day, it's not the best game for me, but I do like to play it sort of casually. Ticketmaster, again, for tickets I buy, can swipe on my phone when I get to Phoenix uh, Suns games or Arizona Diamondbacks games. Tidal, which I've enjoyed for the high quality audio that they offer, which Spotify and Google Play Music don't offer. I have a student subscription for them, so it's really cheap. Uh, still using my .edu from when I was doing my PhD. I've got Uber on here, of course, for if I need to get home from a bar. Uh, Umbra and Ermin, which are two icon packs. Those will make an appearance in the icon pack series. So watch out for that. Some pretty standard apps here. Google Wallet, which I don't use as much again because I'm using Samsung Pay a lot. And now that Android Pay has come along, this app isn't really that useful. Wolfram Alpha, which I use for mathematical computations for my research. So this is more or less mainly for, I would say it's better for researchers than for students, but it will make an appearance in my math app series. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and check it out. I've got the XDA free version. I actually have the premium version, just haven't installed it on my Note 5 because I've been using XDA from Intapatalk. And then I've got ZigZag, which is another one of my favorite simple but effective games at killing time. All you do is take this ball. It does have ads, which is a little annoying. You can also get the premium version, but you take this little ball and just zigzag to try to stay, oops, to try to stay on the actual platform. So I'm going there to rate, let me go to retry. And then you can see you collect these little diamonds. Not gonna do very good behind the camera, but you get the idea. So this is definitely a game I recommend. I think you can get rid of the ads for $1.99 or so. I'll probably do that because I've been playing the game more and more often. So that's what's on my Samsung Note 5 from Verizon. It's not rooted obviously because it's Verizon. So you guys sort of saw all my non-root apps on this phone. Uh, if you want me to do a video on some of my rooted phones that have custom ROMs on, I definitely have some different apps on there for root, etc. Let me know and I'll do one on my 6P, I'll do one on my HTC One M9, whatever you guys wanna see. Let me know if you actually like the video. This was a long video, so if you guys hate it, then I won't do it again. If you like seeing what I'm using, if you find something useful, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to continue doing it. If you guys give me a like if you enjoy the content, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be great. You can also find me writing over at news.highonandroid.com, dopetechdaily.com, as well as on Twitter and Google Plus at the links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.